This is how to make a supernova and today we're going to build a Star Wars Scarif diorama. I really liked Rogue One movie and I also liked the battles from Scarif a lot. And I thought it would be really a cool idea to make a diorama out of it. So I bought a Dev Trooper model and I bought a Short Trooper model and this is how I build it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to cut right here. Um, to take off uh, the arm and then uh, put it back together in a better uh, better position so I just took off the arm and now I'm going to remove this part right here So next what I'm going to do is to mark with a pencil where the both arm pieces uh, touch each other and then I'm going to use some super glue to put them together. I filled every hole with paper towels and a little bit of glue so I want to cover it with the epoxy putty the putty has something to hold on to I'm going to cut some part off same here and now I'm going to mix it for six minutes When working with this putty, make sure your hands and all your tools are wet so you don't leave any fingerprints on your model. So first I'm trying to get the amount of putty I need right. So I'm just going to fill it up. Look at it and when I think it needs some more, add some more. But I think this is the right amount. <clears throat> when you look here behind the shoulder pad, you can see the texture of the suit underneath the armor. Uh, so right now, with some modeling tools, I'm trying to recreate uh, the same texture. So right now I'm done with the elbows and I am cleaning um, the edges because right now it's very easy to remove but once it's dry in a few hours it's going to be a big problem. So I just filled the knee with the putty. Um, um, and I am destroying an elbow.
I fill the knee with the putty. Right now I'm using uh, a piece of cloth and a little bit of water to copy the, to copy the texture of uh, the pants. So I'm going to fill the other knee and repeat the process. So I left them for about 24 hours to dry. Right now uh, they are hard. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is to paint these parts uh, from the elbows uh, black and the knee parts on the short trooper uh, going to paint them brown. I'm going to paint every part of the pants so you won't see any color difference. For the diorama itself I'm going to make this part of the scarab bunker. I drew the pieces on a sheet of EVA foam and now I'm going to cut all the pieces out. Here I have a piece of styrofoam and I'm going to trace the EVA foam, cut it out and glue it together uh, to give this piece more strength. Yeah, this is the part where I made a big mistake. For some reason I was thinking that using contact cement would be a good idea, but it is not. Contact cement will melt your insulation foam and I just got very lucky that this didn't ruin my project. The glue is dry right now. Um, everything is stuck so I'm very happy with it. Only here and there are just some spots where the glue uh, melted some of the foam. Uh, but that won't be a problem. Now I'm going to cut a triangle from the foam so I can put this wall on a 75 degree angle. My two foam triangles are done. Uh, this piece is broken off but it's not a problem because it will be hidden. Um, this part will go on this side and um, this part will go where the door is this part will be completely hidden from view so i don't care that this uh, small piece snapped off the next thing i'm going to do is to use a hot glue gun to uh, glue the foam in place um, also hot glue will eat away your foam so um, when you put glue on this only put the glue in uh, the middle then it will glue perfectly. Uh, when you put too much glue on the edges, uh, you might see some holes and uh, other small things you don't want. So when I was talking to you about gluing the thing, um, I put the glue on the wrong side. Uh, well, 
doesn't matter. I just rubbed all the glue off, well, most of it. Um, and you won't see it anyway, because it's on the back side of the diorama. Um, this is the right side. Maybe I should mark it. And also the other piece, so this won't happen to me again. Put the glue on the right side and going to stick it here. Um, this is a leftover piece of foam. Um, I'm going to cut it up and uh, glue them in place to support these connections. This piece of foam which I cut earlier uh, will be glued here. And from these spare parts I'm going to cut um, small pieces, small details. I will glue it on the, this side of foam. Um, so this part will look like uh, some kind of machinery. So I cut all the pieces I need. Um, I also found some other parts um, I'm going to glue on. Uh, I have no idea what this is. I think it was from a washing machine. Uh, this is a piece of plastic. I really don't know. <laughs> and this is a piece of uh, domino. And I'm going to mix them with the foam to get some interesting looks. Also, the guys from ILM uh, did this. Uh, for example, with building a Star Destroyer, uh, they had a lot of flat spaces and they needed to make it to look uh, interesting. So they took a lot of stuff just they have uh, they had laying around and glued it on a Star Destroyer. So to give it that uh, that machine look, that sci-fi look. When everything was in place, I used the Dremel and the knife to add some more details. With my airbrush I painted this thing black. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to paint this part in the orange-brown color. Um, for that I'm going to use uh, some uh, Vallejo paints. Um, this is sun yellow, I need 10 parts of it. Uh, scarlet red, 2 parts and 1 part charred brown. Then I took off the masking tape and repainted the parts where some paint came off. To weather all the armor I used quick shade from Army Painter. When using a wash it is important to get the stuff in every nook and cranny. Then take a piece of cloth or paper towel and wipe most of it away. Also take in consideration that a wash slightly changes the original color. If you want a really dirty armor, you can keep adding layers of wash until you have the desired result. Here you have a very good example how the wash can bring out all the details. So this was part one from the Star Wars diorama and part two we're going to finish the whole model. Uh, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe if you like this video and I see you in part two.